Welcome again to another Talk Truth Live series. I'm your host, Shanique Davis, and this is Girl Connection. And we'll be connecting tonight. So all the girls, thank you for stopping by. Please remember to like and share the video and say hi, don't be shy. I would love to give you a shout out to those who are here. We also have a YouTube channel for persons who do not have a Facebook account. So please don't leave without subscribing. Tag a friend, tag a girl. We are coming back to connect with our ladies. We uh, have realized that we have we kind of left you out a little bit. So please accept our apologies. We're going to get girly tonight. I am going to bring on our guest in a few minutes. But before that, we are going to kick things off with a brief word of prayer. And then I'll tell you who tonight's girl guest is. Let us pray. <laughs> Father in heaven, we thank you for your love for us, your grace and your mercy. We thank you, God, that you are God alone. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died. We thank you, Lord, for providing for our needs. We thank you, Lord, for taking us throughout another day. We thank you for strength. We thank you for mercy. We thank you, God, for each other. We thank you for fellowship. And God, we thank you that we have a father like you to care for us. We pray tonight that you will bless your people, strengthen them, give them the courage, God, they need. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that they will not leave here the same way they came. But they will be empowered and equipped with the knowledge that they need to make better decisions and to be better versions of themselves. God, we give you glory and we give you honor. And we tell you thanks for these and other mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Be blessed. Please like and share the video. Say hi so I can give you a shout out. As you can see by tonight's title, work, we are talking Kingdom Women Talk, What a Girl Wants. So everything that a girl wants, we'll be talking about that tonight. Cool? Cool. So tag a girlfriend, your cousin, your auntie, your sister, anybody you know who is a female who would really benefit from tonight's chat. Just bring them on over so we can have a good time. Now for tonight's guest. So our guest for this evening is a wife. She's a mommy, a counselor, a motivational speaker, and she is a life coach. Did you realize that I did not say author? Thank you. I know. Anyway, <laughs> she is a visionary. She is the visionary behind Midnight Warrior Ministries International and the host of Broken to be Blessed Network aired on YouTube. Yes, I said it. Where women share their experiences that will inspire, bless, and encourage you to be the best version of yourself. Tonight, our guest is... Prophetess Samantha McNeil, she joins the Talk to series Girl Connection to share in Kingdom Women Talk, What a Girl Wants. I need some applause for her. Thank you. Good night and thank you for coming. Hello. So a few people here might be familiar with your face, but they may not necessarily know who you are as yet. They've only seen you a few times. Tell us something that we may have missed in the bio. <laughs> I love to laugh and I like to take pictures. That's my favorite thing to do. I dress up quite often <laughs> and take pictures that keep me happy and sane. All right. True. If you go over to her Facebook page, pure picture. Picture for Kelly. Yes. Thank you for that. So, guys, just say hi to our guest. Oh, I'm just going to do a quick roll call and then we'll get into tonight's chat. Yes, yeah, something fiery. So, first to be here, I need a prize for this person. Genesis is the first person to get here tonight. Hi, Genesis. Thank you for joining. And then Elliston is here. Elliston Davis, you beat me tonight. I know. <laughs> Always competing. So Genesis say, yay, nice to see our host, Mrs. Shanique. I know you should have been here, but you know, 
Lord would have it otherwise. So Kadian says hi. Hi, Kadian. Tag a girlfriend. Thank you for tagging the women and the men, of course. Thank you, Genesis. I'm glad you are here. What a girl want. Okay, I forgot the hashtag. I forgot the hashtag challenge. Tonight's hashtag challenge will be what a girl wants. So we're going to get into tonight's chat. And we're going to be talking about the single ladies concerns, married women concerns, and the concerns of the undecided women who just can't seem to make up their minds. So my first concern, I say concern to our guest, which is Samantha McNeil, is what do kingdom women want from kingdom men? And that we, when we say kingdom, we mean the Christian side of the world. What do the Christian women want from the Christian men? I see Latavia has joined us. Hi, Latavia. Go on. All right, prophetess, the floor is yours. Okay, so what do kingdom, kingdom women need from kingdom men? Yes. As the word says, that a man should love his, his, his wife as Christ mm -hmm. loved the church and gave himself for it. So as a kingdom woman, I think woman, I think that is the first thing um, that the woman wants. The woman really wants a man to love her as Christ loved the church and mm -hmm. gave himself for it. Love unconditionally. And, and that you will be able to feel that love and to know that love and not to to worry or to question about it also to leave and to cleave because we realize that um there are times when uh the men might say that they are ready for marriage but yet they are still not uh weaned from all the places that they need to be weaned from and you realize that when they get married that they they are still carrying the moms and the, the everybody from the, the the family coming over so a kingdom woman want a man who is ready to love her as christ loved the church and gave himself from it who is already weaned and ready to leave and cleave and i just love the way that you're stressing weaned and for the people who don't know what wean mean is what we call win when we say somebody stop get breast your parents win you they have let you go the eagle throw you out of the nest you're on your own, you're big people now, you're serving God, and you want your part, your significant other, do what you have to do. Latavia saying, come on here, prophetess, leave and cleave. <laughs> what kind of tongues this man? <laughs> Hello, Shabo. <laughs> Latavia, go ahead. Right. I love how you're stressing leave and cleave because sometimes, I think that we as women, we want the men to be responsible. We want men who are steady. We want men who we don't have to be competing with their parents or with anybody else for their attention. So, of course, keep the hashtag, keep the hashtag coming, guys. What a girl wants. Tell us in the comments what are some of the other things. If you're a girl and you're here, tell us about the other things that you would want from a kingdom man. We're talking about the demands that we want the kingdom men to meet, but we soon get into what we have to do to help them maintain or supply this demand. So my, my other concern is how did you snatch your kingdom man? Because a lot of people out here, especially Latavia, I know this is why she's here. We want men who know how to be men. Cool, we're not fighting you. Yes. All right. How, so we, tell us we, how you... We, <laughs> yeah, <my laughs> you say, oh, Latavia want to know how. Um, I've often said that hot bread doesn't go on shelf. Hot bread, don't go on shelf. Shelf. If you go to the bakery, there's a bakery. Um, I was I was growing up in Montego Bay, and there was a bakery that was there. And when you go there on a Saturday, especially the line would be outside because that bread was just hot and soft and juicy. 
so persons will not wait for it to go on the shelf because it's needed so in in becoming a kingdom woman you have to first present yourself as such make sure that you know who you are your own who you are and that there are times when you have to you have to look approachable you have to be approachable not that you're you're soliciting or you're saying but you must look approachable and a lot of times for church women they kind of have that donkey face looking kind of a look and um you are not welcoming at all and you stay in your own zone and you just so grumpy and stuff so my thing was that i always wanted to grow with somebody because i know that persons can pretend and a lot of times you see that you get a husband from somewhere that you don't know then out of the blue the past is up and uh, all other things and you just so my wish was that i always wanted to grow with the person that god was giving me and my wish was granted so i became friend with my husband from from childhood and uh we were we were friends growing up and that was my wish but during that phase it was kind of it was it was challenging because there were there are there were some uh what would you say some things, some challenges that were unique and some that were individual that I realized during that phase. Persons thought from a church level that once you are, you're courting somebody or friends with somebody that you are sleeping together. So I had to deal with a whole lot of that. So I think, how do I, how do I manage to snatch? I think I was just the right one. <laughs> I was I was the package. Yes. I, I'm still the package, the beauty and the brain and uh -huh. the, the charisma, the bubbly, yet strong, Listen to but, me, no man. But tender. Yes. And and even now I question my husband and I ask him and, and stuff. And I used to see the eyes. The eyes I you and you know, maybe there was a thing too. Singer musicians used to attract to our drawn to singers, because I guess so. I was a singer, he was a musician, I would always notice the eyes. And um, like when he's looking and I'm looking, both of us eyes will make four, will turn away head and those little stuff. But yes, I, I was the package and I'm still the package. <laughs> so that's how I managed to snatch. My, my I love that. Man. I love that. And what I hear coming from you is confidence. And it sounds to me that you were already, you were actually actively looking for your kingdom man at the time and one important thing that stood out and you stressed on it you said you wanted to grow with him so you had to become his friend i know that samantha is not talking to me as me I already have my kingdom person so for the people here who are undecided single people who you know you're just asking for a friend nothing is wrong we are here to help you, to help your friend and their friends too. Cool. So be friendly, be confident in what you have because you already have it. And you know, they always say every of them stick a bush. Everybody has their somebody. Cool. And you just have to be ready. That is how we call it. We snatch one of these kingdom men. You have to be ready, right? Put yourself out there with confidence. So I see you, can't want, you can't want to find somebody, but then you don't carry yourself in a manner that anybody is going to see you. A male, a man is attracted by what he sees. So you have to make sure that you you are welcoming and you lookable. So you can't want to go, as I said, hot bread don't go and sell. So you can't want to, and you're not, you don't look a certain way. You must carry yourself. You must have the attitude. You must, if you don't know, go learn. Go learn from persons how to put yourself together, how to talk, how to everything. Because a kingdom man, not just a man, you can't want the perfect man and a kingdom man when you are not a kingdom woman. And a lot of times that happen. Women tend to want to dictate, I want this, I want that, but what do you bring? Mm. Make sure mm -hmm. you are bringing, you are taking something to the table, not just looks. But character. Yeah. yeah. Character, wealth of knowledge, invest in yourself, know what you want, know how to deal with things, know how to 
to all of those things so that you can you can represent yes and for those who are just joining us we are talking to prophetess samantha mcneil we are in kingdom women talk what a girl wants and we're just taking our time to debunk some of the myths that we have as christian women whether you're single married undecided whichever category a friend a best friend you're falling to these are some of the things that we need to get right so we can snatch you know we've talked about this a few weeks ago when katie and malcolm was here and you were asking you know how can we snatch one of these kingdom men i'm gonna ask prophetess to say it a little louder because i know some people are around the back and they probably have them take off them hearing it so she might have to shout so remember kingdom represent royalty we are all royal women we already god already blessed us with beauty we have brain we are not idiots nothing is wrong with us but we just need to correct some little little things that hinder us from getting the kingdom men that would further carry our lives to fruition you know bring about the gifts that god has placed in us so i see latavia chatting it up so i just want you to see what latavia is saying in the comment section give me a second um let's start here we want men who know what know how to be men no identity issues around here cool prophetess i am taking notes you're better <laughs> thank you for tagging the women and men genesis so you're saying i need to smile more <laughs> Yes, yes, you know, so yes, please find it. You're not that Samantha, you are so pretty. Thank you. Every day she's pretty on Facebook and on WhatsApp. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Mr. McNeil. Yeah, I'm gonna win. <laughs> we want men with principle and love. Tell it, Samantha, so true. And that is true. We want men who at least know what they want. But we, we're talking to the women tonight. We want what we want, but we have to prepare, put ourselves in a position to get what we want. Um, One thing came to mind, though. You said confidence. You have to smile. You have to be approachable or personable. Um. If you don't mind sharing, what was one thing that your spouse said stood out to him? Or what, what drew him to you? Maybe somebody here needs to hear it. I was always confident. I was always well put together. <laughs> the dress it and no, all. Doubt. no doubt. My lips were always shine and glossy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I was just, I was just, just as you see me, all bubbly and fun-loving and approachable. Yes, yes. That is good. And you, you ladies hear that? So how do I get a man with, when I have a mask on? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me now, Latavia. <laughs> Look here now. Ciao. One other thing that, that, that came to mind is that, you see, women are, from the get-go, women, God created women. Um, as he said that, he created, um, Adam was alone, and he put him down, and he take a rib from him, and he made a woman. A woman. And, when, and when I look at it, it is, it, is, it is just so, God is just so amazing. Because in truth and in fact, a woman really um, compliment a man. And I hear the lady saying a lot that, oh, you want a man who knows how to be a man and all these things. The man might not 100% know how to be a man. Because we know in our society that most of the times our men go without no male influence. They don't have no male influence in their life. They have very few in the church. You can hardly find men who um, are there who you can say this as a husband man and a father man or whatever. But once the man has the mindset and the, the willingness to learn, he's teachable. 
He's yes. willing to learn. He's willing to allow you as a woman to help him to, 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 to make decisions, to make him a better person. So as a woman, you have to know that it's not about forcing somebody to be something or dictating to be some something. But when you become a kingdom wife, when you become a wife, is that you are going to be a help to the, your, your kingdom man. You're going to be... A, a, to, to to cheer him on to help him to, to 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 he might look like he might not know how to to match his clothes he might not know how to do things but as a woman are you willing to to help to build your man he says that behind every strong successful woman man there goes a a strong woman so you these are some of the things you want to know so that you're able to help to build your your person so once the man is someone who is willing he's willing to listen and allow you as a woman to help him and to be that help and that support to him he might not know everything because i can tell you my husband have grown a lot and one thing about him that i always like is the fact that he will listen he will listen and there are times when he tries to be stubborn and I can share, <laughs> I found out very close to our wedding that he was stubborn when we had a major decision to, to make. But then that was it. And that's another thing. During that phase, you have to make sure that you identify what are some of the things that I can live with and what are some of the things that I can't live with. Makes no sense to agree to because the kingdom man look good and you don't in your mind agree to what you can live with and what you cannot live with so that you will flow. Yeah, and we can we can sit and, and debate the entire hour of tonight's episode, you know, and say, you know, we want men who know how to be men. But as you rightly said, a man can know how to be a man in his own way, but he is he knows how to be a better man when he understands how to take care of you as his kingdom woman. So I think we can look at a random man. Yes, he's a minister in church and, you know, he's serving and he loves the Lord and he's intact with his emotions and he's muscular and he can provide and yeah, all of that, the whole nine yards. But then you get into a relationship with him and you find that in spiteful, he is just not it. He is yeah, nothing like what you saw Conceited. he doesn't listen he's proud how do you deal with that listen to me now man. Are the things that you want to make sure that you know before it's not just about the look and the behavior a lot of persons can put on and and pretend and to be what they are not mm -hmm. and i see latavia was saying um i cannot teach a man how to be a man i am a woman so that's why I said what I said earlier. The man learn how to take care of you based on what you need. When he understands you, then he knows how to be a better man. Cool? Because, right. because the thing is, no one person is out there for no one person. You know? So when you, you are going to choose somebody based on where you want to see that your life. So that's the first thing. What, what, what is the expectation of your life? What do you want? Where do you see yourself? What kind of life you want? And then that is what you're going to build. So the man is going to help you to achieve what you want, the woman that you want to be, and you are going to help the man to be the kind of man that you want him to be for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And we are going to go... I'm not forcing... La, la, what's, it? what's her name? Latavia. Latavia. It's not a forcing thing that you're going to teach the person to be, because, and you're a woman but you are compromising so once you realize that this person loves you is somebody who you can live with and all of that then you're going to compromise it's an iron sharp made iron so what the person as a woman a woman compliments a man so that's your natural thing and you're going to sh help to shape and to build him and to work on him and to help him to be to fit you to suit you to be your 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 your, your piece so yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that elaboration well very 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 well said so just like latavia and the rest of us here 
if you see, if you hear something and you don't understand just put it in the comments i will be glad to ex will be glad to expound on it so we're talking to prophetess samantha mcneil about kingdom women talk and what a girl wants and we just found out earlier what women want from kingdom men we want protection we want providers men with no identity crisis we want men who love the lord know what they want and then we also talk about what we have to do what we do to snatch some of these kingdom brothers because i know a lot of single kingdom women here want kingdom men to live better lives now we're gonna talk about whether we think it's a woman's insecurity that makes her want to change herself so you're a good woman in your own eyes maybe some would attest to that fact but then you assume that you know i'm not getting attention from kingdom men i'm getting men who are not saved men who are insane you know men who don't treasure cherish the lifestyle that i want as a kingdom woman so now i start to add a lot of things to myself to see if i can snatch one of these brothers these holy brothers to live the life that i want that i think god wants for me is it is that is do you think that is insecurity of the women that make them do these things to themselves i wouldn't want to say it is insecurity totally because it cannot i don't think it's a one size fits all mm -hmm. so for some persons we for some persons they like to look a certain way mm -hmm. and um i think ages and stages in life does do that for some people, okay. for some people and, and socialization too because there are some for some persons you they may have may have been socializing and in an environment especially in a church environment where you are expected to look uh natural as as, as possible and that is considered um how you are expected to look so you you grow that way and you accept it that way but while you 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 grow and you are in a different phase in your life you may want as an individual to you may have some liking for some things and you want to try them so i wouldn't want to to just say that it's an um it's insecurity we do have people who will um do things for persons too because they are not sure or confident of themselves and mm -hmm. persons will hide behind things and and do that look want to look a certain way and because they're not happy with what they they have but i also think that persons are in different stage and phases of their life mm -hmm. and if you're at a phase in your life where this is what you want and you this is how you want you there's something there's a liking to this and you want to do it and you're not doing it then it might cause a deficiency in you because there's going to be a feeling a void of something that you are not, not able to do when you're stifling yourself so as i said before i wouldn't want to label everybody to say that yes they are insecure and that is why they want to to know wear red lips and they want to do this and do that but we are in a society where everybody wants to to look good mm -hmm. and i've often said just as how you lotion your skin why do you lotion your skin because lotion was created to give you moisture to help you to allow your skin to look moist and and silky and nice why do you wear a deodorant because you something happens underneath there and you have to keep it down it's the same thing if your face is a certain way and you want to look um a moist uh, keep it moist you want to have a different tone that's available too if your lips are dry and you want if your hair is short and you want to that's that's personal choice and i think that everybody should be able to to do that without being labeled as being insecure yeah and i i i could say the same it's not no blanket statement to say that all women because they pretty up and they probably do them nails every now and again they look pretty and every and every time you see them in something different i wouldn't say that's insecurity but i would say that sometimes i think i think it kind of turns off some of the kingdom men why because i've heard men say that you know they don't really want these things from the kingdom women because some of these things cost them or will cost them and they may not be at a place to 
be able to afford to maintain these beautiful things that we like. So maybe once in a while, if you are here and you're single, undecided, whatever, and maybe you are kind of intimidating that kingdom man that might feel like you don't have a chance or stand a chance to talk to you, maybe you can probably try to tone it down a little, do it once every now and again, and see if that works. If not, then you can cut. No, we're not fighting. But as I said, it's no one blanket statement. I'm just speaking for, based on what I've heard some of the men and say. I think that is socialization. Because mm -hmm. men who are in the world, I think men who are in the church are mean. Mm. And they like to socialize and they like to, to do that, to say, oh, I don't have money to go to, to send it to the hairdresser. But the men in the street out there, they mm. do it. They yeah. do it because they know that it is something that is needed. And they do it. And even yeah. though you can compromise, you must know the woman that you're going to choose if you are able to compromise. Yes. And, it, and it is best when a woman come in in a space being independent. So if you want to look a certain way, and this is how you, you are carrying yourself, this is what you love, make sure that you're able to manage yourself. So even if you're going to get married, you are able to go do your ear and stuff on special occasions your husband can give you um stuff to do go do your ear and do your whatever as your present or whatever you call it but i think this is some of the things that church men do oh i don't have money but the men in the world they know they have to they have to find it and it's not an issue and that is some of the things that church men use and hold down church women mm oh we don't have any money to do this and we don't have no money to to do here so you must stay natural while the woman wants to to look a certain way so i would suggest that women who want to make sure that you're independent in some way that you can give yourself because in truth and in fact you'll hear some men as i said socialization you yeah, socialize yeah. in a certain church where all the women are natural the, the man used to that so he's mm -hmm. gonna be drawn to a woman who looks that way but question him question him and find out babes or whatever uh, honest yeah. man you like women who who would look of course they would want especially when they have their wife they would want to see her look a different way so yeah i i i can agree with that i can agree with that part it depends on you and i've always seen a meme that says stop saying that women are expensive Pick the one that you can afford. All right. Thank you very much. Pick the one you can afford. <laughs> Do not hang your basket where it cannot reach. You can, uh, you can, you, and that is some, that is another thing. That is another thing. And I, I have met young men who ask me these questions. And they are saying, I'm not educated and I'm not this, but I, I don't want, I want ladies who are this and that. I said, brother, you're always going to be in trouble. Because you are hanging your basket where you cannot reach. Take a young lady that is in your, who you know will be able to, to, to satisfy what you have. You're going to spend the rest of your life trying to prove to her and to swear your head and swear all about just to provide for what you can just to say you have a, 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 a fashion extra. <laughs> so, sure. where you can reach and pick who is in your, in your league. <laughs> all, right, all right we're gonna take some comments on that note and we see florita louis she says some of us as long as we get in the church we start to dress old don't care about putting ourselves together anymore that is true that is so true a lot and of us are men, guilty the same men who you might think or like you to look man men are attracted by what they see you must look good a lot of times, too many times we see it where the women start getting old to see. And you need to stop. You need to be stopped. Mm -hmm. And she also says, wife beauty is very hard. We have to teach and compromise with each other. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to look nice all the time and we want the men to appreciate us. And then sometimes we have to do whatever else we have to do because we're still females and we have our jobs to do don't it so latavia is asking if i'm talking to her no latavia i would never do anything like that no. 
These men out here know I'm expensive. That's why I'm still single. <laughs> you want to remain single, ma'am? All right. Hey, Siobhan, thank you for joining. All right. So we have just talked about what girls want. We want what we want, and we're putting ourselves in the position to get it because we want to snatch up the kingdom men because we don't want to be left alone. We don't want to be left behind. And also, Shanique, um, there are different stages in life. Mm -hmm. and you, I've always known that I've always had in my mind who I want to look and who I want, but there are different stages in my life. Mm -hmm. When we got married, um, there were things that you couldn't because you started from a humble, a very humble um, beginning, just a laptop as our TV and um, a bed in our, our, bit, in our bit, a whole onesie with just a bed in there and a dresser. And um, you just got married, you would still be wearing what you I have before I got married, which um, some of them were what maybe i was blessed with and i've been wearing for a long while and stuff but that's a phase of life so mm -hmm. even though as women you 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 might look a certain way or you might want to be there are different phases in life so you have to it's not that you're gonna i think i think it was when i look at contentment it's not that you are saying that this is where i'm gonna be but this is not you want more but you're now being happy and content at where you are so that when when the phase change then you go so these are some of the mindset that we want um young ladies who are thinking to get married to 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 have there are different phases in life there are things that i can do now that i couldn't do when i just get married there are thick clothes that i do couldn't wear and stuff that i couldn't do and I, I had to just go with it because that was my phase of my life. But that's not where I wanted to be. So it's okay to, um, to understand the phase that you are in. So whatever your phase you are in, you know, means so you have to all up yourself and whatever. Put the two pieces, a piece, a piece where you have, and lookable. And know that one day you are going to, to, to grow because you have an aim, you have vision and stuff and not really be no pressure no bother to anybody or your husband that you're getting no because you want to grow it's not just looking good and being expensive but what do you want to acquire that's if you're gonna achieve some things you're gonna have to go without when you want to achieve things you're gonna have to go without all of the look sometimes but that's just how it is yeah and i'm really glad you said that because as Latavia said, she's single because she recognized that right now, in this stage of life, you said different stages. In this stage right now, she's too expensive. So maybe if she kind of tone it down a little bit, I know you're a hot girl, Latavia, you think up oh, and you think ready. But if you can kind of like turn it down a notch, then maybe the kingdom guy will come along and say hi, you know? So we want beauty brain. I think she can still be herself, mm -hmm. but it's her mindset. When mindset. somebody talks to her, when a man approach her, because here's what she's gonna say: I'm not gonna get anybody because I'm too expensive. What is what? What what is what 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 do you how much what what, what is the value? What is it that you're saying that is too expensive? What do you want so much? that it is too expensive so you can still be and have your values that you have but when you talk to when a young man as i said you have to be approachable when a young man approach you when you talk and you say oh i am, I am too expensive and i want this and i and i have to do my hair every day and i oh and i oh that's gonna turn him off but when you talk and you say hey growing up all my life i've seen myself as a classy woman and if you ask me, I can tell you, growing up all my life, I have always seen myself as a classy woman. But there were times when I was wearing stuff that I would get second hand, and I put them together and allow them to be classy. Nobody would know that they are not new. They are classy for me because that's how I see myself. But that was a phase of life. So, but when, as you asked me earlier, how did my husband um, draw, was drawn to me? Talking to me, you would have understand 
that um, this girl have ambition, this girl want to go somewhere. And he said it to me. He said, Samantha, honestly, I can tell you, I listen to you. And if you never have no ambition, me would me could marry you. If you never have an ambition to get a, a college education and move forward, I could not deal with it. Because in myself, that's not where I see my life. So that is what you want. I know me, I don't know what stage Lavisha is at. Lavisha is at no. So maybe she's still at that <laughs> merry, merry phase. But after a while, she realized that it's not just about being expensive. You can be expensive. You can desire expensive things. But what are you? What are you willing to? What you want out of life? What do you want? You want what kind of man you want? And you have to be realistic. He might have the ability to be a millionaire, but right now at 25 or 26, he not did it. So what? You're not gonna take him because you want a, your expense when you want a millionaire? No, you want a kingdom woman who is willing to work with him, to build with him, to, to, to build the business from scratch, to, to pray with him, to, to help him to wear the, the old clothes until he can buy new clothes, to take taxi with him until these are the things and these are the stories that turn out to be beautiful stories. So we know, we are in now in a society who wants a microwave life. Mm -hmm. We don't have no time for wait. We don't want to build with nobody. Mm -hmm. We don't want to build with mm -hmm. nobody. I mean, I live in a no one room house with no 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 TV and lucky and expensive and whatever. So do you want to be expensive or you want to get love or you want a husband? Choose you this day who you will serve. <laughs> And a kingdom man one thing, do what you have to do now so you can do what you want to do later. So as Samantha rightly puts it, men want women with values, women who have ambition, and we want the finer things in life after we put measures in place to get there. So this is what this these are some of the things some of the ways that we can snatch up these kingdom brothers. We're giving you all these beautiful gems. I hope your bag is full when you leave here. We're giving you the secrets to snatching kingdom men. Processing. Women are, women are the women, would you say that the women in the church are much, much more than the men, you know? Yeah. So the ratio between finding a good man in the church to a woman. So you, are, you have to be a cut up above the rest. You have to bring something that somebody else don't bring. And what is it? What is the edge? What edge you have? What edge you carry? You have to have that. Listen to me now. Listen, no man. Ooh. At one point, I thought you were going to preach, you know, but <laughs> I feel the preach, you know, I'm saying, no? Yeah. I love, love. This is Anita. Thank you for joining, Anita. I'm here, girl. So Sister Florita says, this is a kingdom woman, by the way. That's the reason why some women go out and look man out of church. And Anita agreed, for real. And don't compare yourself to others. That is one of our biggest downfall. That's why I'm independent. Independent, but don't flaunt it. Some women flaunt their independence, and men don't like that because men have ego. Mm. And as a, as, a, as, a, as a kingdom woman, you have to know how to. And it's but very sensitive. They might at first, might some might because some want to feel like that's because of ego still. They know that the woman is not maybe in their class or they're not where they are in the state of life, but they choose it because hey, you can say oh. Uh -huh. Now I have that in a me get her, but yet when they get together, they have the real issue because the woman is always flaunting what she has and belittling the man and, 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 and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they can be independent, but it's how it's a mindset as how you look at it, how you, you say it, how you behave with it. And ladies and gentlemen who are here, we're hearing from Prophetess Samantha McNeil. This is a mindset coach. You hear she's killing the mindset. Your mindset is everything. Everything. You could be the best kingdom woman. You could be a cut above the rest and still get left because your mindset 
is wrong. Anita, I see you. Here again, somebody mm -hmm. said that, um, they, that is why you go out the church. Mm -hmm. If you understand that God has created, mindset is everything. Mm -hmm. God has created you and he says that he, um, he, the man to love the wife as Christ of the church and gave himself for it. As much as he looked like he weak and there's nothing, a lot in there. The thing is, if you go, if you are a kingdom woman who are in the house of the Lord and you want to serve God, and you are now going to, to say that you're going to go outside, or you're going to settle then, or you're going to say you're going to take somebody from outside, you have to come back again, you know, what do you want out of life? For some, it might work, but for, for some, it's a tug of war. It's a constant battle in your home because you used to go to church, you're a kingdom woman, and you 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 drop it, you you lower now and say, okay, I'm going to choose somebody from it. And it's always like this. When you want to go, they want to want to go. And they say, but remember, you didn't find me in church, and so you want to force me to go to church now. And when we know you, you never used to force me. So these are the things it comes back down to what do you want? Values. Yeah. Anita is singing on the values. Values, she says, humility. And Latavia says, I rarely ever speak. Men just look at me and assume that I'm too good for them. <laughs> <laughs> So you have to work on you have to work on the look so that you are approachable and and, I, and that's what i said before because <laughs> you can you say, mm -mm. Yeah, she says she's too expensive so she wear that she well said already you know <laughs> don't even <laughs> <laughs> Chosen Nicholson, thank you for coming. So come on now, in it together. So this independent lady, no, I am an independent woman. I don't ask for things. I want time, respect, and effort. Yes, and you can demand that. <laughs> That's yours. <laughs> no kingdom men are being caught over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I like her. Yes, yeah, she, she listen. That's why she's here to be real. She has to be real. I'm independent, but I don't do for myself alone. I always help. All right, this is a good woman right here. Latavia, you're killing us in the studio, but thank you. Thanks for the laugh. All right, so we only have a few minutes left. I want Prophetess now to like tell us about some of the other ways in which we can prepare ourselves to be better kingdom women so we can get the kingdom men that we deserve. For the people who are just joining, because more people are here. All right, I think um, we have, or you say I want to tell to tell the ones that are not here, who are just joining in. Uh, as I've often said, mindset is everything. And all of us, socialization plays a big part in who we, we become. Nurture and nature, based on the environment that you were nurtured in and some of the things that you have seen. And it's for you to make that conscious decision to say, how do I want to experience my life? So you could have been socialized in an environment where uh, women in your family don't get good men. Women in your family, they don't get married. But you say to yourself, that's not for me. That's not what I want. So what 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 were the approaches and what are some of the things what are some of the the, the the setbacks and stuff and you want to to stop and to break these things um also not because you this is what you experience in life mean that you this is what you that this is what should be yours because for me i i i was grown with my father 
but there were some qualities that he has always been there. But the qualities of a husband are the, the qualities that I was looking for. I didn't see it in him. I remember one day he, he asked me and I, if I would choose somebody like him. And I said, no. And he was surprised. So I was telling him some of the things that, no, I would not want to. One of the things that he, he, he likes to disappoint people. It doesn't matter. I said to him, when I'm getting married, if you even have a limo service, I am not depending on you to take me to the church because at the la you are not reliable. And at the last minute, you will say no and you don't show up and it doesn't bother you. So things like those. Another thing is that in love with quarrel, and it is not something that I want to. So in my mind, consciously, there were some things that I knew that I, I, I don't want. So you are looking for some of the things that you, you want to see in, in, in your person, the person that you're looking, the, the husband that you're looking for. You have to first have that framework in your mind of what you want to see, of who you want, and where you see your life. So when you meet persons, you are star. You're in your mind. You already know what you want. Because if you don't know what you want, it's going to be hard for you to choose. You don't want to be just going along with the flow. But you want to have in your mind what you want so that you'll be able to have that, that framework in your head and know what you're looking for. Also, I know that especially for women who are in the church, you are just waiting for this one perfect person to come along. Uh, I think perfect, that, perfect that is the, the disadvantage or that is the, that has happened to persons back in the very 20 years, 10 years coming up. But this generation is, a, is, is, is way, way, way different. And they have no time to pick up, put up with nonsense. Even though they make the vow and so they say, hey, it's not working on me now, me now but that this. <laughs> so you want to be able to know <laughs> and know that it's not just one person that you're going to meet, but have what you want in your mind meet other people so when you get married you don't feel like you're trapped you feel like you lack experience because that's some of the things that happen sometimes you get you just meet this one person and you just say oh i fall in love and you really don't know anything and sometimes you don't even see the things and different stages at life you really don't even get the time to see what the stage bring out what the person can give you but you just fall in love and then you realize that so you want to have in your mind what it is that you want. And if you don't know, take the time. When you're single, now is the time to take the time to find out what you want. Do all the exploration. Go where you want to go. Do what you want to do. So that you know that at least you would have um, enjoyed some of the things that you want. to. Yes. Do what you have to do now until you can do what you want to do later. So what a girl should want then, let's put it that way, men with ambition, men who are honest, men with a mind to grow, men who want to treat you like the kingdom woman you are, men who are reliable, men who love the Lord, Jesus Christ, men who know no other Lord, but if I'm not Jesus, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Because you have women who take up themselves and married to man who say him not believe in a God. I don't know how that happened. I'm just saying. We want men, as Anita says now, providers. These are some of the kind of men that we want. Men who will not just give you the stuff that you are used to or that you demand, Latavia. And I'm not picking on you. I'm just saying. You're expensive, but we want men who know how to manage their wealth just the same. Because if they just focus on giving you all of these things, you are going to be paupers, okay? So these are some of the things that women want. And I'm going to take the final set of comments. Um, let us start. Uh, 
I'll start with Shannon. Shannon just joined us. Hi, Shannon. Seek to be a whole and complete. A kingdom woman is aware of her place, position, and posture in the Lord. So put yourself in the position to meet that kingdom man. Keep the hashtag coming, guys. Um, I mentioned that perfect Peter and perfect Paul don't exist. So we want men who are willing to grow with us and put plans in place to have better lives together. And as I keep saying, a good man, and this is a kingdom man, I can't remember his name. Do what you have to do now so you can do what you want to do later. I'm not even sure if it's John Maxwell, but he's one of those kingdom men. Cool? Cool. Um, this is real talk. Of course, it has to be real talk. Provider, we want men who are appreciative. Um, leave his mom and dad. And our guest said that earlier, leave and cleave. And I laugh because sometimes we find ourselves as kingdom women with kingdom men who we have to be competing for their attention and we don't want that. Shannon says men who are emotionally healthy and aware, not just spiritually aware, because we're not marrying his spirit, we're marrying his body, his mind, and all that comes with him. So we don't want to ashalam man. And and man. And and he he can't always thrive with man. And he can't accept when he's wrong, not true. <laughs> you so when the spirit is not there, what happened? <laughs> And the spirit is not there, what happened? The real human being is going to come out, and then you're going to have the problem. <laughs> I am sorry, I'm not picking on the men. I want a man with a plan. Latavia, have a plan, and then meet that man. Have a plan to meet the kingdom man. And Samantha gave you some really good tips earlier. Be approachable, be personable, smile. You know, try to have a conversation, try to meet people. Just have a friendly talk, you know, get into their head, see life from their perspective. Men appreciate that too. And that's how you will snatch one of these kingdom brothers, okay? You are picking on me, I know. I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me now. I am in. <laughs> Men with substance, good values, positive mindset, which is everything. Men that don't depend on women to complete them. But they do need the woman, the woman's help to be a better man. Yeah. I get you, I get you. And my husband says it's John Maxwell, yes. <laughs> do what you have to do now so you can do what you want to do later. Man and woman should complement each other for the will of God. Owen oh, by field, sir, if you're still here. Prepare yourself to be in the hot seat on Saturday night. I'm just saying. Thank you. So we have less than a minute, Prophetess. What other gems do you have in your purse for us tonight? Because I, I, I think you need to speak to Latavia, spirit woman. You know, speak some conviction into her because she's not getting it. <laughs> oh, my God. As I said, mindset is everything. So we want to thrive and to strive to be and to become a better version of ourselves every day. A lot of times we are looking for people and we try to find the, the problem in everybody else and who is not this and who is not all the kingdom, all the flaws. But make sure that you represent. Make sure that you are the best version of yourself. And even when you are, there's still some more to go. You're still thriving every day. And your mind is renewed every morning that you get up. Make sure that you have a renewed mind, a renewed heart. Do not take the baggages from your past life into your future. Let them go. Whosoever did not show you right, who did not go show you things, who hurt you, whatever, let it go. And it is okay to meet people, to meet other people here at a person's perspective and just to, to to get and to understand people know other people so that when you find your kingdom woman or your kingdom man you're not looking for anything else you would have already met you would have known and know, know people and meet people and all of those things because a lot of times we are so we tend to be limited in in who we associate we say i really don't know anything you're just in a box 
and then you just think that, oh, what I am saying is gospel, what I'm saying is right, but the world is, is big and wide, and if you're in a box in your mind, uh, you want to get out and you want to thrive to and to be a better version of yourself. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, I see a few more comments that I just want to share. The last, last thing. Um, Owen says, man and woman should not compete, should complement each other. Elliston says, woman shouldn't compete with their mother-in-law. And then he also says, my love for my mother is different from my wife. I think we can... I think we'll probably have to have a part two for this because I have some more questions popping up. And I think the Jamaican women would really appreciate some of the questions that I have to ask. So if you're available next week, we will definitely bring you back and then you can finish Council Latavia because you need it. <laughs> Just a real quick for now, no? <laughs> Latavia, my love for you is different. So I have to touch you. No, I'm not happy for him, I touch you. But it was good to be here tonight. If you need to see a part two, just say part two in the comments. Thank you all for coming tonight. We appreciate you being part of Girl Connection, Kingdom Women Talk, What a Girl Wants. And we were joined, our stage was graced tonight by Prophetess Samantha McNeil, a life coach. She's a mom. She is a speaker, a motivational speaker at that, and she is a counselor, so she knows what she is saying. And we just debunked a lot of the myths that women have. So Elistan same one, part two. So anybody has one part two, we will be back by popular demand. Owen says part two, all right, big up on yourself. So tell us where we can find you, just in case people need one-on-one -on -one talk. You know, maybe I'm intimidating somebody and they want to talk to you privately. Where can we find you? Okay, you can find me on, on my Facebook page, at Poppy Samantha McNeil Midnight Warrior Ministry. I'm also on Instagram, um, at Poppy Samantha McNeil. You can also, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Broken TV Blessed Network. That's where all the Wisdom Wednesday uh, motivation happens. And tomorrow, too, it's Friday Vibes in five. You don't want to miss that. It's a lot of excitement when we say TGIF. <laughs> so, yes, you want to come over there and um, and subscribe to Broken TV Blessed Network. And you can send me a message on any one of those, either Instagram or on the Facebook page. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. Okay, also, I'm having a, a, a mindset training mm -hmm. uh, on the 19th of December. It's somewhat of a small, it's personal, and mm -hmm. um, I'll train you um, to build uh, mental muscle. It's only $10 US or $1,400 Jamaican. Uh, when, once you go on my page, please like the page. It's, the flyer is there. And um, you, you, the, the payment uh, info is there and everything that you need to know. So that's something that you can be a part of, a mindset training to help you to build mental muscle. I have the flyer, so I'll share it when, I, when I'm done. Okay. I'll share the flyer when I'm done. Thank you. Yeah, so it, ha it was a good chat, a really good chat. And let's prepare for part two because persons are requesting part two. If you missed it, don't be afraid to catch the replay and make sure you hashtag replay. Thank you. Big, big, big thank you to Prophetess Samantha McNeil. She actually came on here at the very last minute. And I really appreciate all her support. And we need to go over and support her. It's just $10. Ask somebody to pay for it for you because I will be there. And if me go over, there, me one. Not tell you no woman get. Not tell you. So, yeah. I'll see y'all over there on what date again? The 19th of December. 19th of December. I shall celebrate her anniversary the 17th. So set a reminder and tell her happy anniversary. <laughs> Kingdom men and women vibe. Be of yourself, prophetess. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone, for joining. Please tune in on Saturday night. We will have a very special guest, 
he's here with us, but you will see him in the hot seat on Saturday night. And of course, our host will be Mr. Lamar Davis. This has been Girl Connection on Talk Truth Series. Real talk, real people live. See you on the next segment. Have a good night, everyone.